What is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today I have the Razer Ripsaw HD capture card for streaming it says here on the package but you can also just record with it and I would say we unbox that and have a quick look over it right after the intro. Okay, so this is the Razer Ripsaw HD capture card. I bought this because I had some problems with my Elgato lately and I wanted to try something different and see how that works for me. We can see, say, it's next level streaming supports uh, a lot of different things. It has a 4K pass-through, 1080p, 60fps, uh, seamless connectivity. So we will see how that goes. You can also connect headphones and a microphone right on the front, but I would say we just open this now and we will see how it is in reality. All right. Let's have a look what's inside the box. We have a nice little paper here. Time to get seen and be heard so a little welcome this is the card itself I put this on the side a bit and we will have a look what else is inside the box it's really nice packaging I have to say it looks really high quality uh, we have a little uh, booklet here with the instructions we got some razor stickers it's almost like an Apple product this is also really nice. So the packaging is really premium. It has a nice uh, feeling to it. I put that stuff aside for now. So put that box a bit aside as well. And we will have a look what's inside here. All the cables. So we have all the cables here. We have an HDMI cable, I guess. Uh, here's a Have a look here. So we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or 3.5 millimeter jack. Then we have a regular USB 3.0, it says you need two uh, USB C. So we have an audio cable and the USB cable. And actually, it feels uh, really nice. It's a mesh cable. So that's also something really nice. And yeah, here we have an HDMI cable. So let's have a look at that as well. It's an HDMI cable, looks golden. Don't know if it's real gold. I didn't check it that in detail. Put this aside for now. And let's have a quick look on the card itself. So here we have the card itself. Okay. So have some rubber down here. That's nice, so you can put it on a surface and it kind of sticks to it. That's nice. We have the headphone jack where we can get the audio out and we have a jack for a microphone. And on the back side we see the types USB Type-C and we see the HDMI in and the HDMI out. That's about it. So far it looks pretty nice. It's I would say it's about the same size than the Elgato HD60S I'm using right now. It look and feel is really nice. You have this Razer logo on here, but I would say that's it for the unboxing and I will uh, plug this on my computer and we will see how it performs there. A few moments later. All right, so I'm on my computer now on my desktop and I plug the Razer Ripso HD to my USB 3 port on my computer and connected the HDMI in and the HDMI out which is going to my second monitor and uh, what I've noticed right away is that this window popped up automatically I also got some messages from Windows that my device is ready to use you know that usual messages you get when you plug some USB device but this is now saying Razer gaming software uh, congratulations you hold the competitive advantage time to unleash high quality streaming performance 
experience full audio monitoring and control, customize and save audio output settings and so on and so on and so on. So we will just click next here. So that popped up automatically. So you can do a couple of things. I don't really want to go to, uh, into too much detail here. Uh, Nanoleaf, uh, Philips U. So you can synchronize with a lot of stuff, I guess. Uh, pretty nice if you're interested in that. Let me know in the comments. Maybe I can do some uh, further videos. I have some Philips U uh, light bulbs here in my apartment so I could do something with that. Let me know if you're interested and if there are a couple of people then maybe let's see what we can do but I will say hit install for now and you can see it's downloading the Razer Synapse software or whatever I will need that so we will see. Uh, remaining time three minutes okay so this opened up on my other screen I'll make this full screen now uh, what we can do here we see the devices modules so we can add stuff here uh, yeah we can adjust uh, our audio here just unmute the audio output volume from this 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so we can use this as an input so we have all the adjustments for our sounds here uh, we can create profiles and yeah here's for macro and nano leaf for the connection don't know if i will need that because i don't have nano leaves so what's probably more interesting than these settings here is how it looks like in our broadcast software and for that i usually use streamlabs obs and i opened this up i'm um, on the game only scene that's my scene where you can only see my in-game screen without camera and stuff like that so i click on that capture card here and previously i had the elgato game capture hd in here so open that drop down and we already see the razor ripso hd hdmi and when i click on that boom it's there it's in 1080p it has match output fps so it will get the same fps my ps4 in that case is uh, putting out and uh, we use uh, custom audio device the microphone razor rips of hdmi the music is not really loud i don't know if you can really hear it good on stream maybe go into the playstation menu and I hope you can hear that uh, sound. You might be able to hear this. It's not really uh, the loudest sound. Maybe we can adjust that. You definitely need to play around with that as well. But I have the sound uh, on my headphones right now. So everything works uh, really good so far. I'm quite impressed. It's plug and play. It's like. I would be uh, used to it from the Elgato in the past, so I can't say anything negative about this uh, capture card uh, at the moment. Plug and play, that's what you expect. Uh, everything shows up in Streamlabs, everything is there, even though the audio is still not really loud maybe have to play around with that a bit maybe if we turn it up here there are definitely some things uh, to uh, check out but so far so good and i would say that's it for this video if you're interested uh, how it looks on stream i will leave m the link to my twitch channel in the description and let me know if you have any questions if you like this video leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out any of my upcoming videos thanks everyone for watching and see you next time